Today I'm going to show you how to do a basic stage look. No matter if you're a student or a professional, this look can work for you. Because of the neutral colors, it can be worn for any role under any lighting. So, let's get started. Start with a primer. I like Stila's One Step Correct. This not only acts as a base for your foundation, but it also allows it to go on much smoother. Fully blend this in. Taking your foundation, I like Makeup Forever's HD, dot it on your face and use your favorite sponge to blend it in. Mine's a Beauty Blender sponge. Make sure you get completely under your chin as well. Next with a concealer, again Makeup Forever for me, dot where the foundation missed, like around your nose and under your eyes, and blend in either using a foundation brush or the sponge again. You want to set your foundation with a translucent powder, such as Laura Mercier or Makeup Forever. Take a big blending brush and buff your entire face with it. This both sets your makeup and prevents you from being shiny under the lights. You also might want to take in consideration that this is the point where you'll look a bit scary, so you might want to hide from people. To add depth to your face, take a bronzer, mine is from MAC, and buff under your cheekbones, not above, underneath. This will give them the chiseled look from the audience. Next to your temples, which is right above the eyebrow near the hairline. And finally under the chin. You want your whole face to have a shape even from the back of the audience. Next, taking either a white eyeshadow or a cream highlighter, you want to accentuate the top of your cheekbones. So if you're using the cream, put some on and dab it. If you're using the white eyeshadow, gently brush it over your cheekbone just above the bronzer. Again, this is giving you a very chiseled look from the audience and will accentuate your face. Taking an ivory shadow, blend from the eyelid up to the eyebrow. I always use MAC products for this, so every shadow I will be using will be from MAC. This is about creating a base on your eye as well as opening the eye up. Next, use a light brown and contour your eye from the outer corner and into the crease. Once again, this is about adding depth to your eye. When it comes to stage makeup, you don't want any harsh lines because they will read very bizarrely from the audience, so make sure you blend everything in. Taking either a pencil or a cream black liner, I'll be using the cream, begin in the center of your eye and gently pull the color outward. Then work your way inward. Remember, if you make a mistake, it's okay. This is going to be covered up by eyelashes. Next, wing the liner up and outward. Make sure it's going slightly diagonally up, because otherwise you will look sad from the audience. I know I look very serious in this video, it's just that I'm concentrating. I promise I'll smile next time. Now, take a brown liner, I'm using a Makeup Forever, and you're going to contour the crease again. Starting in the middle, take one full line all the way out to the end of the black line. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you're going to blend this out in a minute. I find that this line works much better if you do one solid motion, rather than in pieces as we did the bottom line. If you can't get this right away, don't worry about it. With a little practice, you'll have it in no time. Now we want to blend this line out, so take a chocolate brown shadow and work your way out and upward. Make sure you don't blend downward onto the lid because you want that space for depth. So as you can see, I'm just gently brushing it upward towards the brow. Not all the way up, because again you want space there, but just so you don't blend it down onto the lid. As I said before, stage makeup is about blending, no harsh lines. You want to look natural despite the fact you have so much makeup on. Now we're going to line the bottom line. Take that same brown liner you used above and go along the bottom lash line. From the middle, working your way in, and then again working your way out. You want to connect this to both of the lines that you've already made so it's one continuous shape. Now of course, everyone has a different style of eye, but this look will flatter universally simply because you're connecting all three lines. So no matter what your eye shape, this will suit you. And ready for a smile? No. Now take the same chocolate brown shade and we're gonna blend the bottom line out, first starting in the middle and working outwards. You don't want to blend too much into the center on this, otherwise you'll look bug-eyed from the audience. Not the best look for a ballet dancer, or anyone on stage for that matter. See? No harsh lines. 
Now curl your lashes, everyone's favorite part, and apply mascara. I like Yves Saint Laurent because it has a very thick wand which really volumizes. The trick to mascara is to actually wiggle your brush up. This gets a better coverage of your lashes and thus applying more mascara at once. Also do your bottom lashes because on stage, again, you want everything to really show up. Now it's time for the fake lashes. I use MAC and my Duo Lash Glue. After you apply the glue to the lash, just move it back and forth a bit to really get the lash moving. That way it's not just one stiff blob on your eye. Carefully apply them as close to your lash line as you can. That way they'll look somewhat natural, as natural as false lashes can actually be. And there you go. This again takes practice. I was not perfect at this the first time doing it. Now your eyes are done. Finally for the cheeks. I take a baby pink blush. You can use whatever color you like, but baby pink is the most neutral on stage. And blend into the contour. Don't get too far in towards your nose, otherwise you'll look red-faced and the whole purpose of being on stage is to make it look easy. So just blend into the contour and up into the hairline. Now for the perfect stage lip. I always use a burgundy liner in quartz from MAC to do this because it gives it a better definition. So start on your top lip line at the cupid's bow and work your way down. This doesn't have to be in one big line. It doesn't usually work well that way. So just take your time and practice. Then do the bottom line, maybe extending it out a bit if your lips are small. That's up to you. I just do mine right along my natural lip line. Now, take your red lipstick. I like Makeup Forever in number 42. And gently apply to your lips. This color is very intense, so if you work too fast, you could get it everywhere. Trust me, I know. Then gently do the bottom lip and blend. Now for a trick, take your pinky finger and dab it in a little bit of concealer. Then you want to put it right on the middle of your lips. Just dab it in slightly and then blend it. This allows you to have a full lip look without actually wearing lip gloss. So if you're on stage during snowflakes or something, you won't have snow sticking to your lips from the gloss. So that's it. So that's the basic stage makeup tutorial. I hope this helped you out a little bit and maybe you at least got some tips from it. I'm going to be doing a corresponding blog post with brands and colors and all the products I used, so I'll link that below this video. I'd love to hear your comments or questions, and please make a request with any ideas you might have for future videos. Please stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching.